Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing three looks, one palette with the Juvia's Place Tribe palette. I do have my initial look with swatches up on my channel already as well. I'll put a link in the iCards here for you. This is going to be the first look and I am loving how this turned out. I have really been enjoying this palette, but I do still have one more look to film with it before I give you my thoughts, reviews on the palette. So that will be at the end of the video because I want to have a good grasp on these shadows. Here is what the palette inside looks like. So it has nine shades, five, sh five mattes, and four shimmers. And so far I'm really enjoying it. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I hope that you enjoy these looks and let's go ahead and jump into them. You have already seen look number one, but as of now, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for look number one. Um, I did wanna mention though, before I got into this look, that in the next look, I didn't say it, but I did, I am wearing this blush Lena, and right now I have on this blush B. So I'm trying to use the different blushes in here when I do these three looks, so you can kind of see how those look too. So far, I'm really liking all the blushes. Definitely have to go very light-handed on them because they are pigmented. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to start with green. Hmm, I'm kind of starting to get an idea. When I do my makeup, I typically don't go in knowing what I'm gonna do, like ever, even when I'm just doing it at home. Look number two, I did go in with knowing what I wanted to do though. That one I've already filmed. So I'm going to take, actually I don't want this brush. I want a smaller fluffy brush because I'm just gonna put green on the outer edge here. This shade is called Tootsie. This is the vibrant green shade. And this is, is this my first time using this? This is my first time using this shade, so we'll see. Ooh, that might be too bright for what I was thinking that I wanted to do. So I'm kind of putting this on the outer V, in like the whole outer section, transition area, crease area, and outer V. These guys zoomed in a little bit. Let's see how much I can build that up. So how I'm putting this is it's going a little farther in the crease and transition area, but then staying on the outer third for the lid area. I think to get the most pigment out of this, patting it in is, is going to be the best. I think for the orange shade, so that is or Aromo. I mean, I'm sure I'm saying these names wrong. Um, this one's going to go on the middle part of the lid. And I'm using a pinched blending brush because I want to blend it in some to that green, but I also want to pack the color on here. And then I'm going to bring it into the crease just on that very outer part. So there's what we have so far. These are not quite as pigmented as I would have thought, I guess. Maybe they're just not as bold as they look in the palette. Maybe that's what I would say. They're pigmented, but they're not as bold as they look here. So they're a more muted color, but they have a lot of pigment at that muted shade. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the green and kind of blend this out on the brow bone and then on the very inner corner I'm gonna put cur curl up. I'm gonna use some fixing spray with that and this little detail brush right here and that's just going right on this inner corner here and then I'm gonna kind of pat it out into the orange shade so those shades blend together oh I like this Then on the very inner corner for a highlight, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this shade Coro. And just kind of blend it in to that orange shade. That turned out really pretty. I'm excited for that look. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the orange shade. And just bring it along the whole lower lash line. I'm using a flat definer brush. 
But then I'm going to take a little bit of the orange shimmer shade, Curla, and just pop this right in the center of the eye. I really like how that turned out. That is so pretty. So for the waterline, I'm going to use this orange gel liner from ColourPop. It is in the shade Puppy. Next to these oranges, this moon almost had, like looks yellow on the skin. But I thought it looked orange when I first started using it. So it's almost like a marigold color. For the lips, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Liner in Nude and the Sephora Lip Stories in Somewhere in Spain. It's just got a little bit of a yellow undertone. I wanted a pretty nude lip, but also something with a little tone to it. So I thought that one would be perfect. I'm going to do a wing liner, put some mascara on, and be back to show you the final look. Okay, back with the final look. I am really liking this look a lot. I tight lined with the Urban Decay Zero liner. I have got on my vibrating mascara. I don't know where it went. It's Pure Cosmetics Vibrating Mascara. I've really been liking that. It is in my shop my stash for this round. So I am going to go ahead and pop some lashes on and be back with the look. Here is the final look. I have on temp the Temptress Lashes from House of Lashes. I love these because they're like they're they're wispy but they're big so they're not like chunky and big they're wispy and big so I do really like these and I like how they look with this eyeshadow look as well I think I'm gonna pop just a little more of that blush on too so I have B on today I was really careful when I applied it because the other ones have applied so strong that I didn't want to look great see like just a little bit more and it's um, these are very pigmented blushes. So here is look number one. Let's move on to look number two. So for this look, I want to do that Kylie Jenner inspired inner corner pop of color. So I know that's kind of been going around on YouTube. I've seen some different looks with it. And I thought that this would be a good palette to do that with. So I'm going to use this brown here and then this yellow here. And I'm not sure, I may use this orange here. So it's going to be kind of a spin off of it. And then I may also pull in, well, I'm going to have to pull in this base shade here from the Dosa Colors palette. It's called Basic. I may use this shade right here. That is necessary from, these are both from the Friend, Friendcation palette. I'm going to start out with this orange shade. When I'm filming this, I haven't used this color yet. Uh, so I'm not sure how, what it's going to look like on the lid. So, oh no, I think this will be good. Okay, so I'm just going to do a lighter wash of this shade in the transition area. So doing a lighter wash with less pigment, you can get it to be more of a neutral shade. I think that's all I'm going to do for the transition area. So now for the crease color, I want to be able to blend it out, but I also want it to be very directed placement for where I want it. So I'm going to use the Morphe 507. So it's a smaller fluffy brush and I am going to take Ashanti, which is this shade right here. It actually looks kind of dark in the pan, but it is not as dark as it looks. So swatched out, it's more of a muted brown with kind of a a warm undertone in there and I want to be able to really place that in the crease but also blend it out here just kind of deepening that crease up now that I've got the um, transition and crease shade done here's where the Frontcation palette is going to come in on the lid I just want this very neutral skin toned shade on my lid so this is going to go all over the lid the shade is a little more cool tone than the shades I used so I think I would actually like to use a warmer tone base color but this is what I'm using here you I am sure if you have got this tribe palette that you have got some neutral skin tone shade in your collection. 
I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush that I used for the first color. I'm not adding anything to it. I just want to blend where the crease and transition shade meet. Next is going to be a big wing liner. And then I'm going to pop the color in the center. I think for today, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula one. I hope this does not do me wrong. Sometimes this one can get a little too liquidy. But since I've got really no color on the lid, it's got to be very precise. Ooh, that one looks really good, which means this one's probably not going to look good. Do you guys have that issue where you do one and you're like, oh, yes. And then for some reason, look, I already messed it up. The other one does not. So this wing, I did a little higher than I usually do. This liner does bleed a little into my inner corner, so when that, I just take a Q-tip for the inner corner. I'm gonna take my milk, my milk, yeah, my milk NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and I'm just gonna lay that down for a base right where I want that green shade to go, and that's gonna make it really pop there. And I'm gonna go in with May Sai. Masai right here and pop that over that milkshade. I'm just using a detailer brush for that so I can get it right where I want it. So here's what we got so far. I don't often do uh, neutral looks, but I do try to do, when I do three looks, one palettes, I always try to do one neutral look with it so you can see how you can wear it neutrally so this will probably be my neutral look for this palette and I really like it so far uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and I used all mattes with this look too uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara pick out a lippy and be back to show you how it looks okay so I did go ahead and tight line with the Urban Decay Zero slide on eye on glide on <laughs> glide on eye pencil I think that looks better since I've got such a blank canvas on the lid. And then I realized I forgot to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this Ashanti shade right here and just smudge that along the lower lash line. For a lipstick today, I'm sure that she probably wears a neutral lip, yes. But I, <laughs> okay, so in my top, lip products of 2018 I had lost my fuel lipstick I found it so I want to wear this today it's just like a warmer tone nude so it'll kind of go with with this look so last I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and be back to show you the final look here is the final look I really like it I use some tapered lashes um, so it'd be bigger on the outside I just thought that would look good with this look and I did use the Ardell 120 from the Natural Variety Lash Pack. So this is look number two. What do you guys think? Let's move on to look number three. So for look number three, the only color I haven't used yet is this shade right here, Changa. So I for sure want to use this shade. And then I think I'm going to use this shade with it. And... I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to do. I did want to use the metallic lip in one of these so you could see what it looks like. So this is the Ditu in the metallic form. It is pretty though and it's pretty comfortable to wear as well. It's it's dried down slightly, slightly, slightly tacky but not in an uncomfortable kind of way. So you can just kind of see there there is a little tackiness to it still. So the blush I have on today is Yara. I think it's a really pretty like a blushy brown shade. I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started into this eye look. Let me just zoom you guys forward a little bit. Yeah, I just don't know what I want to do. I really like all the looks I've done so far, so I, I really want to like this one too. So I'm going to start out with this, I think I'm just going to start out with this lime shade right, um, with the lime shade right here. That is called, Ma that I can't pronounce it, M-A-A-S-A-I, Maysai? 
Oh my gosh, I forgot to put primer on. Let me put primer on and I'll be back. Got some primer on. Today I used the Essence one because um, it was just close to where I am right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back in with that green shade. So I did put that all over the lid. So like I said before, this is more of like a neon green, neon yellow. It's like a, a combination of them both. It could almost come off as both shades. You know what I want to do is I want to put this... Uh-oh, the lips are starting to... Okay, I'm going to pull this in close. You can see it's starting to peel off already. So, oh, there's that. Um, this looks really good on the lid. I feel like I could wear just that with some black liner. So I actually think, not today, in my... Okay, these lips look horrible. It is coming off everywhere. Um, so today I'm not doing a final review of this palette because I'm going to use it some more. So in my review video, I think I'm going to do something with that kind of look. All right, but for now, let's go in with, I'm going to start by going in with the uh, San, and that's going to be the outer V, and I think Ashanti is going to be the crease color, and then kind of blend from the outer V into the shimmer color that we're going to put on. So I'm going to start with just a little fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 507 and pick up Sun. That's kind of the teal shade in here. I'm just kind of placing it so it creates that outer V. Like that. So not a ton of not a ton of this color. Okay, there's what we have so far with this. Then I'm going to go in with um, this brush right here. So this is like between a big fluffy brush that I would use for the transition area and that smaller crease brush that I use. This is a Morphe 330 and I'm going to take the brownish shade. So in the palette, remember from what look did I show you that in? I think look number two, I showed you that it actually is lighter than it appears in the palette and a little more warm yellowy toned. So that's going to go perfect right in here, just right in this creed, just to darken it up a little bit and give a little shadow to that. <clears throat> now see, if you look here, that brush didn't do a very good job. You can see how they're skipping. So I'm going to go in with a smaller brush so I can get right where I want it in the crease because it's just not being placed in that crease very well. So this just lets me be more exact. Gosh, that one is so dark looking. Oh, I know why, because I've got the green laid under there. So that doesn't matter because we're gonna put this shade Changa over it. So next what I'm gonna do is go in with Changa on a detailer brush. Before I do that, I'm gonna put some more of this on and just see if putting a second layer on after this one's dried down helps at all. We will find out. Now for Changa. So, just got my Morphe 421 brush. It's either a detailer brush or a concealer brush, as usual. And I'm going to give that a spray. And then this, I'm going to put all over the lid. These shimmers in this palette just have such a unique shift to it that match the palette so well. This almost has that kind of green, like this kind of shift, that uh, green, yellow, neon kind of shift to it. I'm gonna take my finger and this brown shade right here, that's the one we put in the crease, and I'm just gonna pat those where these two meet to help those blend together. Just kind of bring the look all together there. Whenever you're blending where shadows meet, you also need to like pat, pat it while you're blending, not just tapping, but kind of giving it some push into it as well to help those shades just kind of mix together. I think I want to give this green shade a little more of a wing to it. 
I'm going to take a pencil brush. So that's going to look better once we get the liner and mascara and the look complete. I know it looks a little funny right now. I'm going to take that green shade and stamp it all along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend it out with the brown shade. So Sun and Ashanti. Sun's the green shade. Then I'm going to take that brown shade and just kind of blend that out there. All these shades have this really unique yellow undertone that just, oh, it just makes them blend so beautifully. Uh, in the inner corner, definitely I want Coro, which is this shade right here. It is the perfect highlighter shade for this palette because it does have that little yellow green shift to it. Next what I'm going to do is I do want to put this heavy metal liner in Starfire on the crease where the brown shade is. This was from the Christmas collection that they had. So I'm going to go ahead and do one eye, but then I've got to let it dry before I blink. That's where I want it to sit. So I'm going to leave it there to dry, finish the other eye, do some wing liner and mascara, and be back to show you the look. Back with the final look, I did go ahead and put ColourPop Gel Liner in the waterline in Punch. So here's the look. I'm going to go ahead and put on some falsies with this one today because it is just kind of a more dramatic look. We've got the glitter liner, um, and then I'll be back to show you it with falsies. Back with lashes on. I love how this look looks. Um, these are, it is starting to peel off, so I don't know that I would recommend that, the metallic lip to you, but I also don't wear a lot of metallic lips, so that may be something that just happens with metallic lips. It is a really pretty color. So I am going to have my final review for you guys after I try it a little bit longer. So like I said, I'm going to have that more greenish look when I do the final review, but I do want to use this palette a couple more times before I give you my final review thoughts on it because the looks I filmed, I really did film them just right after I got the palette, so I haven't played with it that much. So that's going to come right now, but with a different look because it will be filmed after this one. So far though, absolutely loving this color story and the shadows so far. So. I'll see you in a sec. I am just here for a quick update on the Tribe palette. I told you guys I wanted to try a look like this out and I this is probably one of my favorite looks. So pretty. I only used this one and this one and I put uh, this one just on the very inner corner but not on the lid at all so the lid is all matte and then just a tiny bit of shimmer in the very corner but I am loving this look. So I'm sure you guys know based on the looks that I've done here on my channel. This is the fifth one that you'll see on my channel. Um, and then I have played with this some more, used it with some other palettes. This palette is amazing. Amazing. It is my favorite palette of 2019. I think my favorite thing about this palette is these colors and their tones were so wisely chosen that they go so well together. You could create any look with this, not any. You could create a look using any combination of colors with this palette. I enjoy it so much. It has got great pigment and you can see that you can wash out a color or you can pack it on and get more pigment out of it, which is what I did with this green shade, right? Green yellow shade on the lid. And you know, they blend really nice together when you're using them. So like even these two together, when I blended them right where these meet, they create a really pretty blue green color. But I am just so impressed with this and the shift that the shimmers have in it that's so subtle but it goes so well with the other colors in the palette. Same quality that we know and love from Juvia's Place palette. So if you like this color scheme or you like the looks that I've done, highly recommend this palette. I really can't say much more except I really love it. Highly recommend it. I just wanted to play with it a little more before I gave my final review since I had really just gotten it in the mail when I first filmed those those three looks. Uh, I just wanted to have a little more, more use out of it first and absolutely love it. So this is my three looks one palette review of the Juvia's Place Tribe palette.
palette. I would love to know if you guys have this palette and if you are enjoying it as well. And if you don't, let me know if you're going to pick it up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I always appreciate you taking a little time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.